Hey guys, this is Goku and today we're gonna be talking about pot odds. You will learn what pot odds are and you will also learn about outs and most importantly you will learn how to calculate pot odds and the probability of hitting outs. So let's get right into it. Before we dig into calculating odds, let's start with a little introduction to probability. Imagine you have a deck of cards. You shuffle them and you pick one card at random. What is the probability of it being an ace? There are 52 cards in a deck and 4 of these are aces, so the probability of picking an ace is 4 over 52 or roughly 7.69%. Let's go through another example. What is the probability of being dealt a pair of aces? There are four ways to be dealt an ace for the first card, as we've learned in the previous example, and there are three ways of getting dealt an ace on the second card. So, the probability is 4 over 52 times 3 over 51, which is 1 over 221. So you will be dealt pocket aces roughly every 221 hands. The probability is the same for every pocket pair. Ok, let's talk about pot odds now. Imagine you are in position heads up on the river and your opponent bets 100 to you and there's 300 in the pot. You have to call 100 to win 400, so the pot odds are 4 to 1. So if you wanna call this bet, you better make sure you will win more than 1 out of 5 times, because only then you'll make a profit. Every time you're about to make a decision, you should think about the pot odds. If you're thinking about calling, think what are the pot odds? How often do I have to win to make profit? If you want to race, think about what pot odds you will offer your opponent if you make this big of a bet. Let's talk about outs now. An out is a card that will improve your hand so that you're likely to win the pot. Imagine you are in position, heads up on the flop. You are holding jack 10 of diamonds and the board is 9 queen 4 with 2 diamonds. At this point you should calculate the amount of outs you have. You assume that your opponent has at least a pair of queens so that you don't count jacks and tens as your outs because they won't improve your hand enough to win. There are 4 eights and 4 kings that will give you a straight, so you've got 8 outs for a straight, and there are also 9 diamond cards that will give you a flush. Two of these are an 8 and a 4, so your total number of outs to either hit a straight or a flush is 15. So you have 15 outs. What now? You wanna know what is the probability of hitting your outs? To make things easy, use the 4 and 2 rule. On the flop, multiply the number of outs by 4 to estimate the probability and on the turn, multiply the number of outs by 2. The 4 and 2 rule is great as it is very easy to remember. But above 12 outs, it starts to get more and more inaccurate, so I have prepared a table with actual probabilities and you can check it out on my site, gokupoker.com. It is important to know the number of outs and to calculate the probability of hitting them because it allows you to make better decisions. Back to our example. The villain bets 50 to the pot of 100. You quickly calculate that your pot odds are 3 to 1, so you only need to win 25% of the time to break even, and you know the odds of hitting the flush or straight are 60%, so you call. The turn is an ace of clubs, and your opponent bets 100 to the pot of 200. Your pot odds are again 3 to 1, and the odds of hitting your hand are now 30%. You realize that 70% of the time 
you'll end up missing both the flush and the straight, but you call knowing that this call is slightly profitable, plus you decide that if you miss your outs and your opponent checks to you on the river, you bet 70% of the pot to try and take it down. The river comes 8 of hearts, you bet 70% of the pot and the villain falls. So now you know what pot odds are and how to calculate them. You know that counting pot odds allows you to make better decisions because it allows you to calculate how many percent of hands you need to win in a certain spot to make your call profitable. You also know what are outs and you know how to count the probability of hitting them. You use the rule of 4 and 2. On the flop you multiply the number of outs by 4 and on the turn you multiply the number of outs by 2. Make sure you check out my website for actual probabilities because the rule of 4 and 2 gets more and more inaccurate above 12 outs. Thank you so much for watching and congratulations, you are now one step closer to becoming an awesome poker player. If you enjoyed this lesson, please share it with your friends, click the like button and subscribe for more future videos. You should know that it is very important that you put the knowledge you have acquired into practice. This course will teach you all you need to know in order to beat the small stakes games, but you gotta practice. You have to get comfortable playing poker. You have to learn these fundamentals by heart. I cannot stress this enough. You will only get better if you practice. Even 15 minutes a day will do wonders for your game in the long term. So, have fun playing and I wish you all good luck. See you in the next lesson.